Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. And today's BS, they tell me not to swear too early for the algorithm, is that you, if you want to get lean, should eat like a contest prepping bodybuilder. Where does this come from? Well, it's pretty obvious, right? Contest bodybuilders are the leanest people on earth, flat out. And clearly they have the getting lean thing figured out. So if you want to be more like them, you do things more like they do. So if you have the opportunity to follow a contest prep sort of diet, even if you just want to get a little bit leaner for the summer, that's kind of something you have to do, right? That's the idea and it's wrong. Why? Well, here's a fun analogy. If you just want to get to work and work is 20 minutes away drive, do you get into a rocket? Wait, hold on a second. Why would you? Well, rockets are designed to go really fast and you will get to work as fast as possible. So if someone asked you, why aren't you taking a rocket to work? What would you say? You could probably start by saying that rockets are absolutely optimized for speed at the expense of pretty much everything else, including comfort and safety, and probability of death. So diets for bodybuilders that are optimized for leanness and muscle retention are often optimized at the expense of tons of other stuff. Like what? Well, specific meal times and amounts, which you have to get exactly correct if you're doing a contest prep diet, and that is optimized at the expense of tons of time and effort. Specific foods, you got to buy very specifically. It's tilapia. It's not any other kind of fish. It's not, oh, I ate salmon. Nope, doesn't work. It's got to be this fish. It's got to be this food. It's got to be that. It's very, very specific, very burdensome on your flexibility on, and you know how much time you spend shopping and how much mental effort you have to exude. Going out to eat is completely off the plan. That doesn't work. A lot of these diets have advanced nutrient cycling, 150 grams of carbs this meal, 100 grams the carbs this meal, 50 grams the carb uh, meal after. Why can't I just eat 100 in all meals? It doesn't work like that. And a lot of times the advanced nutrient cycling and workout and nutrition are designed to be paired with special sports supplements like growth hormone and insulin, which you're probably not taking. So for the love of God, you just want to lose 10 pounds in the next two months to get ready for beach season. So a lot of times bodybuilders have an intra-shake and a post-workout meal of, you know, cream of rice or something. And you're like, oh, cream of rice, that will get me lean. Eh, no better than any other food. It just so happens that when a bodybuilder is on a crap load of injectable insulin and has a ton of digestive issues because they take 800 milligrams of oral steroids per day, uh, you know, cream of rice is kind of the only food that slots in. So if you just copy a contest bodybuilder's prep diet, you're getting a whole lot more than the simple getting lean with a very low expense. So yeah, you can absolutely take a rocket to work if you want to burn everyone with the exhaust, potentially die, expose yourself to insane G-forces, take years and years of rocketry operation courses so that you don't kill yourself and everything down the line. So that linear thinking of, but, but a rocket's the fastest way to get somewhere is not always the right answer. Just like, well, contest bodybuilders are the leanest people on earth. Maybe we should just copy them, which brings me to the thought. One time on social media, a few years back, I saw a discussion about Someone said they wanted to look like a UFC fighter, look like a UFC fighter. And someone's like, this is simple. You guys are overcomplicating it. You want to look like a UFC fighter? You train like them. And I was just like, oh my God, what an idiot. Like, how many punches in the face do I have to take every week? How many like rash guard burns do I have to take in order to get abs? And the answer is zero. So if you just copy people, that's your idea of insight. That's not really much insight at all. If you're just trying to lose weight and get a little bit leaner, Doing a contest prep diet is like taking a rocket to work. You get a whole lot more than you want. You can just extract what you want at very tiny expense. All you might need to do if you really just want to get leaner by a small margin, 10, 15, 20 pounds, is eat like healthy foods generally three to four times per day, increase how much protein you're taking in, decrease how much fat you're taking in, cut out some of the junk food that you've been eating and drop a few hundred calories of daily intake, keep your activity pretty high, and then you're good to go. It's literally a complicated. You say, well, hold on. What kind of protein? Doesn't matter. What kind of healthy foods? Doesn't matter. It can be broccoli. It can be celery. It can be asparagus. It doesn't matter. It can be apples. It can be brown rice. It can be X, Y, Z, and a trillion other options as long as they fit that very, very general category. You're totally good. So like if you have an interview for a job and you get the job and it's 20 minutes away drive and you're like, hey, like, what kind of car do you guys think I should take to work? They're going to be like, what? Hey, any kind of car that can safely bring you from point A to point D. It could be a Honda Civic. It could be a Ferrari. It doesn't fucking matter. So if you're getting a car you want to take to work, 
You just got your first job. Maybe you don't buy a Ferrari. Maybe you don't need to. Oh, the fastest people in the world drive Ferraris. You don't need to be the fastest person. You just need to leave a few minutes early and you get to work just fine with, you know, 200000 extra dollars in your bank account you didn't spend on a fucking Ferrari. Not everyone's me, although I, I don't buy Ferraris. I only buy Lamborghinis. I'm a Lamborghini man for technical racing-related reasons, of course. If and when the time comes for you to compete, then you can do a contest diet. But doing it beforehand for just normal fat loss reasons is kind of crazy and sad and pointless, and there's another term for that. Bullshit. Folks, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. See you next time.